on everybody? Uh, Rob here to do a VCLT. Um, I got this yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to open it for obvious reasons. People on Facebook know why. I'm not going to get into it on here. Um, just not a good day. Um, anyway, VCLT from Scott Waters, the legendary Scott Waters. I did pull the tape off and cut it open, but I have not looked. I kind of remember what we talked about. I mean, talked to a bunch of you guys, so it's hard for me to remember everything you guys are talking about sending me or I'm sending you. Or, um, but knowing Scott there, I can tell there's more than just what we what was talked about in there. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, show you what I got. I'm Scott. Well, anyway, I see, uh, I see, oh, I see something he showed me that I really liked that obviously he sent it to me. All right, first we'll go with the stickers. It's the new Love Life that was just re 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 mastered, reissued on vinyl and CD, but vinyl for the first time. I love these stickers. Uh, Deliverance is new, one that I have not ordered yet, but I'm a little behind on getting stuff because of other reasons. Uh, and one of the best albums of all time, in my opinion, Holy Soldier. Uh, debut album sticker. They also re remastered it, reissued. I'm pretty sure remastered and reissued. And Scott changed up the uh, the artwork a little bit. But one of the best albums, probably my favorite. Well, it is my favorite album of 19. Uh, top three album of 1990. Love this album. This is one of my all-time favorite albums as well. Holy Soldier's debut. How oh, cool. I ordered that as well. I'm still waiting on it, actually. And then he sent me... Cool. I missed out on the... Uh, they had like a big package where you can get the vi uh, colored vinyl for Holy Soldier, Love Life, both CDs, and then a Recon re Second Press reissue. Uh, re blah, blah. Reissue. Um, and so he sent me this little sticker. Holy Soldier name tag, which is pretty cool. And a bunch of pins, which he's essentially got me back into these damn pins because now I pick them up when I see them. Uh, there's the recon I was just talking about. Love War, which I have to order. That's on CD. Let's see what that says. Honestly, I don't know what this one is, guys. So I'm just going to show you. I think it's Sun. Or I thought it was. I honestly don't know. It's obviously a. Uh, I can't really see it. My vision ain't what it used to be. I'm going to have to look that one up. Sorry, Scott, on that one. And. One of the most underrated bands in the uh, 80s, Mass. No, they're not Christian metal. They just have that look and a name. Um, so super underrated. He, they're actually uh, No Life to Metal, I think it is. It's reissuing um, their Fighter LP, which never got an official release. So that's going to be cool just to have it on vinyl. And then Blood Good. We all know Blood Good. Well, most of us Christian metal fans do. That's really cool. Thank you, Scott. Got me into that crap. And the advertisement for Scott's page. I mean, Scott's label. Uh, Heathen's Rage. Uh, this will be a live album or CD. It's going to be. Uh, hold on, let me read this picture. I'm right. Recorded live. It's going to be Heathen the Rage live on CD, and there's also a book coming out from Scott as well. You guys ought to check out that band. It's a good band, and then a bunch of uh, advertisement for some stuff on his label. Uh, Veil, Veil of Deception, right? I always get that. Yeah, that's a really good band. You ought to look them up. Actually, I'll, I'll link them in my uh, my. Uh, 
description below afterwards. Because you, uh, like, thrash fans, heavy, heavy metal fans will like those guys a lot. And then on the other side, a bunch of new stuff. It's out or coming out. Philadelphia, Red Sea coming out soon. Holy Soldier release on uh, Biogenesis coming out. Uh, Love War, don't know that one. East West, I should know that one. They're pretty cool. I'll link some of those bands in my description because they really need some recognition. And Scott showed me this on Facebook. I'm like, cool, I really like that. I don't have any of my mags anymore, but uh, he knows that I love Malmsteen, so he sent me the old Guitar School Malmsteen book. I don't know what year this is. It looks like it's a hair metal era, so I'm going to say 88, 90. Oh, 1990, right there underneath. Goddamn, I'm going blind. 350 for a magazine. Look at that sucker. <laughs> Those were the days, man. Yep. All right, then we got the stiffener. I looked at it. I seen the top one. Yeah, this is what we talked about. Um, I wasn't able to pick these up, money-wise. Uh, so Scott asked me about it. I said no, I didn't have it. And actually, I didn't get either one. Um, so he hooked me up with. Philadelphia's Warlord. This is from Rocks. This is their uh, Underground Series, series number 11, my, my favorite number. And it's a promo. Thank you, Scott. That's cool. And I'm not going to open it. Yeah, I want to open it up because people should see these. I'm not a big fan of the. Uh, the J cards, it, it, I guess you kind of call them J cards in these. But I mean, it saves them money and stuff like that. I get that part. And you know, I always put a backing in there. They sent me uh, a little promo card. I'm not sure it's a sticker. It looks like a promo card. They sent me the sticker with it as well. That's cool. And they come in this J card style. And it's an underground series, so these are all limited press generally. I think the Non-promo ones are pressed out of 150. Yeah. Uh, artwork is by Scott, I'm assuming. Yep, Scott Waters did the artwork. And it has an inside cover too. Inside artwork and lyrics. Which is pretty cool. And then on the black vinyl, I'm assuming. Yeah. Black vinyl, nice label. This is a really nice looking album actually. The artwork looks great, cat. There's the rocks usually on side B. It's colored. Kinda like that. Come on, buddy. Can't do that. I can do that because you're not gonna listen to me anyway. <clears throat> Stop it. And since I already looked, Scott set me uh Philadelphia's First album, Search and Destroy. This is a great, great album. I have not heard that one, I don't recall. But this one I do know well, and it's a great album. Uh, that's on rock, so I know Scott had some. Oh, no, no, this is the one that they did a contest for, for the uh, cover. Uh, they, a bunch of people sent in, you know, colored it in for them, or shit like that, and the winner, that's the winner's cover, which is pretty cool. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna open this up and show you this. As I cut backwards with the knife. Knife. This is actually like a parry knife. There's another one of the covers, which is pretty cool too. And then there's uh, lyrics. And here's a bunch of the other covers that were sent in. 
mean, they're all pretty cool. For some reason, I just happen to like that one. I don't know why. I just like kind of more towards the original. That one's pretty cool too, though. They're all cool. I mean, anybody that can do that, I give them credit. And the vinyl is just on. black vinyl. And again, just cool, nice looking packaging. Man, see that? That's a new vinyl. It's got that white paper on it. And the backside even looks really good. It's got like the fire in the background even. That makes it look even cooler. That should be your label all the time. <laughs> this looks cool. Anyway, that's from Scott, Scott Waters. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, you know I have stuff coming your way. Uh, just wasn't able to pick these up, so it's a big thanks for that. You know I appreciate it. Can't get it all, all the time. There's just so much stuff the last two years. So I do appreciate it, Scott, very, very much. And uh, guys, go check out no light to letter, leather .com. I do it all the fucking time. No light till metal .com and Rocks Records. Rocks Production or whatever. I'll link it all in my signature. Alright guys, thanks. Um, I am gonna do I didn't forget about the contest like again I had a lot going on. I'll either do that tonight or tomorrow and I'll draw the winner. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it by paper or I'm gonna do it by the wheel. I don't know yet. Just whatever easier. Um, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Thanks again, Scott. I do appreciate it.